Hello and welcome to Wimscast. Tonight we're bringing you a final roundup of all the election news, both locally and nationally. The 2010 general election has produced one of the most interesting results in UK parliamentary history. For the first time since World War II, the UK is now governed by a coalition government. But how did this all come about? Throughout the election campaign, no one was certain of who was going to win. This left many predicting a hung parliament, which is a situation in which no party has managed to gain an overall majority of 326 seats, which is needed to form a government. As the election results poured in last Friday, it soon became apparent that no party was going to be the overall winner. Both the Tories and the Labour Party did not gain enough MPs to command the House of Commons. In order for either party to form a government, they needed the support of another major political party, the Liberal Democrats. This led to five days of frenzied discussions. At first, the Liberal Democrats seemed certain to do a deal with the Conservatives, but then on Monday night, Gordon Brown announced he was stepping down as Labour leader in a move that was supposed to open doors to a Liberal Labour deal. However, negotiations between the Liberal Democrats and the Labour Party soon broke down, leaving the Liberal Democrats back negotiating with the Conservatives. With the Conservatives offering the Liberal Democrats full partnership in government, it soon became clear that Labour's time was up. On Tuesday evening, Gordon Brown visited the Queen to tender his resignation and a few hours later the Queen invited David Cameron to form a government. The new government sees David Cameron and the Tory sharing power with Nick Clegg and the Liberal Democrats, with David Cameron as Prime Minister and Nick Clegg as his deputy. In local election news, the biggest story of the night was undoubtedly Peter Robinson's defeat in East Belfast to Alliance's Naomi Long. Mr Robertson had held the seat for 31 years, but his position has been uncertain in recent months because of a string of scandals. Mr Robertson remains leader of the DUP and First Minister of Northern Ireland, but with Assembly elections next year, his future looks uncertain. It was a bad night for the Ulster Unionist Party. Their alliance with the Conservative Party came unstuck as they failed to win any seats across the board in Northern Ireland. Sir Reg Empey lost out in a seat in South Antrim, and because of the party's poor electoral performance, his future of leader is very uncertain. The two main nationalist parties here, SDLP and Sinn Féin, had a largely positive election result, managing to retain most of their seats. Sinn Féin leader Gerry Adams held on to his seat in West Belfast, while SDLP's Alistair MacDonald retained his seat in South Belfast. SDLP leader Margaret Ritchie took over in South Down, well ahead of Sinn Féin's Katrina Ryan. After a series of recounts since Fermanagh South Tyrone, Sinn Féin managed to retain the seat for Michelle Gildernew by just four votes. For a full list of Northern Ireland's new MPs and their constituencies, visit the new section of our website. For more information on any of tonight's stories, visit us online at www.wimps.tv.